here to do two things. The first is to make Stefan Dion the next Prime Minister of Canada. And one of the ways we do that is to make me the next member of Parliament. <laughs> You're going to your fellow citizens, uh, your fellow na your neighbors, your friends, in this wonderful riding. You're going door to door and you're saying, I know this guy. I trust this guy. This guy works hard for this riding. This guy understands what's on your mind. This guy will fight for you in Ottawa. Is that I go into that constituency office and I try and, with Mary and with Jennifer and my other people, I try and help people in this riding every day for the last two and a half years. There have been 4,000 people that we have helped in this riding the last two and a half years. Politics is about helping people. It's not complicated. It's about helping people, delivering results to people. And that's what we've tried to do. I think there are three things that we need to talk to and talk about a lot. One of them is the issue of public safety and crime. And I start there because Suzanne and I went to a funeral recently of a young man who had his whole life in front of him and was gunned on in a gun crime. I don't want to go into the details, but it was the kind of thing you want to go, you never, ever, ever, ever want to go to a funeral like that again. You just never do. And people have died in our riding because of gun crime. We have to say very, very clearly to our citizens that the Liberal Party of Canada wants to get those guns off the street. It is a complex problem. It requires tougher sentencing. It requires more police resources. It requires more community facilities. It requires hope and opportunity for young people. Unless you put the whole package together, you are playing with the public. You are not serious, and we are serious about this. To give hope and opportunity to people, that's what you do. You create a why. You enhance and improve our community recreation facilities throughout the riding. You work with great organizations like LAMP that bring hope and opportunity and deal with people's public health problems. You, you enfranchise and liberate the local leaders in a community. That's how you get public safety. The conservatives don't even begin to understand what we're talking about. But the second issue that we need to talk about is the environment. When I, when I ran for office in 2005 and 2006, I remember saying that the lakeshore was a national treasure. It truly is a national treasure. We want to make sure that we're not dumping sewage into Lake Ontario. We want to make sure that those beaches are safe for our kids to swim in. We want to make sure that Mimico Linear Park doesn't just stop where it stops now, but we complete the missing 500 meters. Anybody who's down there knows what I'm talking about here. This is an extraordinary opportunity to enhance the whole of the lakeshore by getting that missing piece developed, expropriated if necessary, so we can link up all the parks that go from the, the center of Toronto right out throughout to the lakeshore. When you do that, you don't just get more bikers and more walkers and more people with their dogs. You begin to get economic development on Lakeshore Boulevard. This is a big win. I saw it in 2005. I began working at it with, with Laurel and Mark Grimes. This is, this is showing the link in the most practical way we can between the environment and the economy. A good environment, beautiful parks, public spaces we can all be proud of, help to generate jobs, employment, and hope in our riding. The third thing, I'm not going to go on all night, is the economy. I hadn't been in my job a week before I had an experience again I didn't forget. The closing of Stackpole Auto Parts. Loss of about 100 jobs. People in their late 40s, early 50s who had 25 years of experience, some of the best machinists in the country, suddenly without a job. How can we help? A government that goes to Ontario and instead of saying don't invest in Ontario says, how can we help <coughs> rebuild the industrial core of Etobicoke Lakeshore and every other riding in the province of Ontario? So there are three simple messages. Public safety, environmental improvement, and a government that cares about jobs in this riding. Okay?